Welcome to the new unit called absolute value and reciprocal functions. We're going to look at reciprocal functions much, much later on, but I want to zoom in here on something called absolute value. Absolute value has got to be the coolest thing in the world. And I love absolute value. Like, oh, it's so neat. It's so easy. It's incredible. This is the symbol for absolute value here. It's just two little lines, it's two vertical lines. And then you put, let's say, some sort of number in here, like three. Okay. Now, here's the technical definition of it. You know what? I'm going to get back to that in a, in a second. Let me show you what absolute value is first, and then I'll come back to the definition, which you're just going to laugh. It's so easy. Check this out. Absolute value means what is the actual value of the number in the brackets? In this case, look, what's the absolute value of 5? Well, that's easy. That's 5. So what is the absolute value of negative 7? Well, that's easy. That's 7. Well, then what's the absolute value of negative 39? Well, it's 39. Well, what's the absolute value of 0? Well, well, LOL. <laughs> I love that joke. Uh, it's 0. So the absolute value of zero is zero. So what does this definition mean? Go back and look at the definition. The definition means that if you're going to do the absolute value of a number and the number is positive or equals to zero, just leave the number alone. So in other words, this number here, if you look at it, it is in fact positive. So there's your answer, right? But what happens if the answer is or the number is negative? Well, if the number is negative, put a negative in front of it, which means if you look at this sign, there's negative 7, just put a negative in front of the negative, right? Negative, negative gives you a positive. That's how it works. Same goes with this one. Look, there's a negative. Just put another negative in front of it. A negative, negative gives you 39. So when you're looking at absolute value, then absolute value will always be a positive number. Well, that's just way too easy and that's what this definition tells you this definition says if the number is positive leave it positive if the number is negative flip the sign that's really how absolute value works so let's put that to use okay so here's a nice little question that says order the numbers from least to greatest wow what a difficult question check it out first you have Absolute value of negative 6.5 is just plain old 6.5. Here's 5, so guess what? That still stays 5. Here's absolute value 4.75. Well, guess what? That's 4.75. This doesn't have an absolute value with it, so it still stays as negative 3.4. This, well, you know what? You're probably going to have to figure this out in terms of a decimal so that you can compare it to the other decimals. So let's do that now. 5 goes into 12. If you think about it, it goes in twice, right? Giving you 10 here with 2 remaining. So there's your decimal, right? 5 goes into 24 times. So that's 2.4. So this is the absolute value of negative 2.4. So guess what? It's positive 2.4. And finally, you've got a really tiny number here, which is negative 0.01. Okay. Perfect. Let's rank these. If you want to, you can even put them on a number line. Go ahead. That yeah, that might help a little bit as well. All right. So first things first. We're 6.5. Well, 6.5 is way out here. Okay. And that's your biggest number. Then comes 5, which is going to be here. Then comes 4.75, which is probably going to be close to 5, right about here. 4.75. There it is. Very pretty. Okay. Then probably 2.4 is next, which looks like about here. This is a small number, very, very close to zero, but on the negative side. So there's zero, let's say. On the negative side, that would be about here. So there's your negative 0 0.01. And then finally, your negative 3.4 is right out here. And there is your proper order for this. So this idea here of absolute value is actually a pretty easy one so far.